We're in Mumbai, we're here at the Hindu Gymkhana ground. It's a wonderful afternoon. We're here with a local cricket team. Uh, this place is uh, steamed in a lot of history. It's um, you know, a rich club, it's been around for many, many years. So looking forward to seeing what these guys have got to offer. So a long time friend of mine from India, Sachin Bajaj, he uh, runs a cricket academy. He's been doing a lot of work around the world with helping young kids out. I always try and hook up with him whilst I'm over in India. How you going, buddy? Fast bowler also. Looks fast with the arms on him. To me, it was really enjoyable because I haven't had the chance to coach a lot of kids recently. I've been so busy. But when you're out there and you're not worried about any, you know, anything else, about business, about anything that's going on, you just fo focus on coaching the kids. I tell you what, I really, really enjoyed it. I have a lot of fun doing it. And I guess it's my way of putting back into India. That's been so nice to me and given me so many wonderful and great opportunities. Head up okay, nice and tall. Just when you get to there, because you're trying to bowl really quick, which is great, but you're just falling away there. Just be careful doing that and pushing because it's going to hurt this part of your back, all right? That's brilliant. Uh, it's a dream come true for me, especially because uh, learning how to bowl from one of the greatest bowlers ever in the world is an absolute dream come true. And uh, he's given us a few tips. He's told us to enjoy our cricket. He's told us stick to the basics, train hard, work hard, and that's going to take you there, where he was. Pulling down hard, this front arm, if you want to bowl fast, where you get your pace from is pulling down hard with the front arm, okay? So you snap down, the quicker this arm snaps down, the quicker this arm follows. So down there, try to help out with the kids, do some coaching, and all the intentions were right, just to work on their front arm and what they're doing with the ball. But, you know, when you see that, that red, shiny kookaburra and the nice sort of pitch there and the batsman, you got the beautiful nets up, it's a nice afternoon, I wouldn't want to bowl. And I haven't had that feeling for a long time and I thought, well, bugger it. Right arm over, mate. Slow. <laughs> oh, it's been about 18 months. You run in and bowl a few and it felt pretty good. Jeez, I was sore next couple of days. <laughs> Stretching, it's a lot of pain. When I was playing, you have like a six pack down here and this side's quite flat, quite normal. But it's because it's all that, that just gets absolutely worked. It was a good time with Brett Lee. Learned a lot. Being a pace bowler, you need to work hard. That's what I learned. Uh, I'm going to bowl at a case of 150 consistently. That's my aim, presently. Looking at the body language of Brett Lee, think positive environment, positive vibes can say. I had a good time, I had a good privilege to beat him. Hey, what'd you park your car here for? <laughs> Make sure you also subscribe and click notifications to get all this wonderful brand new content that I'll be putting up. And feel free to like it as well. Stay tuned.